Alright, so, uh, there's a new update in the Wild West, finally, it only took five months, huh? So, in this video, I'm gonna look over the juicy new things. So, they've added a new vendor has been added to Howling Peak, which sells the rarest items in the game, the Auction House. You basically bid on rare guns and items, and only the highest bidder gets the item. But if you don't, if you if you don't have the highest um, bid, you get your money back. Uh, don't expect to win your first auction, but if you play it smart and save cash, you can obtain the items you desire. Which is kind of cringe, but you know it's kind of cool, I guess. Added nine new guns to the game: revolving shotgun, lindsay, double pistol, and hammerless revolver can be bought from the gun store. Spitfire, prototype pistol, Lancaster pistol, Patterson navy, chain carbine, and chain pistol can be can be obtained from from the auction house. I already bought the things from the gun store. This is the, what is this? Oh yeah, they added a new thing, so I'll get to that later. Um, hammerless revolver, uh, 1855 revolving shotgun, and Lindsay double shot pistol. This is the double shot pistol at two shots people, and it has two shots and it reloads fast. It's basically like a better sawed off. This is the hammer shot pistol. There is no fan, but it is good. And this is the 1855 revolving shotgun. They've added new crosshairs to shotguns, and in the in the options menu, you can change between three line crosshair, which is like this, the normal thing, and you can go to four lines, which is like every other video game in existence. But I, I prefer the three lines. So yes, uh, I'm gonna go for some more. They added some new games, new um, game passes, added uh, an emo bundle game pass, added a rock ragdoll button game pass. They've also added new ammo types, explosive arrow, poison arrow, sniper shotgun rounds, and blow darts. You can buy special ammo from the black market vendor, requires black market key, which you can get from the auction house, which $371,000, that's absolutely insane, I kind of hate that, it's really expensive, but you know, uh, maybe, maybe it gets better, I don't know. Added 8 new instruments which can be obtained, obtained from the auction house, this is one of them, the trumpet, uh, the highest bidder at the moment is $500,000, which, by the way, I have $1.25 million, so I might be able to buy some of the guns, but uh, I'll have to grind back to a million. Uh, so yeah, they have they added bands. You can now choose to play songs automatically with a built-in MIDI player. You can now sync your musical performance with your friends. Bands allow you to play songs and sync them across different instruments. Better crosshairs. I just talked about that, but I'll I'll gloss over it again. Your crosshair now probably displays your weapon's accuracy. You can now select between a three-prong or four-prong crosshair. I yeah. Shotguns have a unique crosshair. We've added a new damage indicator option that shows how much damage you do to your opponents. Which is basically like, like if, 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 if that wasn't friendly fire, it would show like 50 damage, you know? Quality of life, cleaner emote menu. Look at that, it's new. It's added item rarity backgrounds to the player inventory. Inventory now sorts by rarity. So, the more expensive and rare things are, the, like, it goes from normal gray, to green, to blue, to purple, to legendary. Uh, yeah. I think they added a bank to Howling Peak as well, so I just have to kind of find where that is. Um, nah, that's for later. Uh, Added reduced screen clutter in combat, screen damage effect, smoke effect, and decorative screen UI have all been reduced. Legendary animals, this is a big update, I think. There is now a rare chance for a legendary animal to spawn on the map. Legend legendary animals are big and hard to kill, and will take a group of players to kill, but for a much greater reward. I'm guessing like they sell for like 5,000 or something, I'm guessing. Puerto Dorado, added a functioning jail to Puerto Dorado, which was needed, added a bank mailbox to store and collect items from, which is like a mailbox, but the bank, I don't know. Some other changes in the Highlands region, added a mailbox to the game, this is this this is a container similar to the bank, to a bank where lost items such as tomahawks will be returned. Reward auction house items will show up here. Balancing changes. Weapons now have damage fall off at a uh, fall off at distance. So the further you are away from somebody, the less damage you do when you hit them. 
Almost all weapons have had their stats changed slightly. Stamina now recharges slower when in combat. Jumping now costs more stamina. Jump power is reduced at lower stamina. Some weapons become less accurate while riding a horse. Bounty earned now scales with the size of the server you're in. So like, if you're in a small server, you get only a little bit of bounty for doing something illegal. And in a big server, you get a lot of bounty. Sneaking now hides your name tag from other players, letting you truly sneak around without anybody seeing your name tag, letting you get caught, which is really needed, I wanted that. Smaller character sizes move slightly slower than larger characters now, which is cool. That was kind of something that we needed, maybe. Horse stats have all been rebalanced and have a cooldown on death. Let's see if the skeleton horse is still good. Nah, no, it's still good. Bugs and exploits. Fixed an issue that prevented Sapphire from spawning. Happy mining. Bounty is now separated between public and private servers. So, like, if you have a bounty in a public server, it won't carry over to a private server. And if you have a bounty in a private server, it won't cover, it won't, um, like, show up when you're in a public server. Fixed issue where the fan button showed on guns that don't support fan firing, such as the Navy and the Hammerless Revolver. And small performance improvements fix lots of other miscellaneous bugs and exploits. One of those miscellaneous bugs and exploits is quick switching. All right, am I right, bad bad players, fellow bad players? All those sweats that can no longer quick switch. You, we can finally win in a one v one. so cool they added wanted posters i needed this okay and this looks way cooler this looks, looks, looks so much cooler than uh bronze city's um, jail post office and bronze city maybe this has a uh, letters pog this is the mailbox cool bank agent this is the bank all right this is what rare items look like now Thunderstruck logs, as you see, I kind of have a lot of them. You can you can role play with your friends down here. Let's just check out some Howling Peak changes. So this is the auction house. I already like was in here at the beginning, but I didn't really tour you. So this is the new some of the new guns. Actually, I think there's all of the new guns. Yeah, this is a Spitfire, the the Swar Swar Slows Slows. I don't know, and the Patterson 6, I think I'd like the Patterson 6, it kind of looks like a Colt Navy. Um, Guy Chot Chain Set, which looks cool. Uh, yay! Alright, let's go down here. This just goes into the barkeep area. There's there's no building in this update, uh, build, up, build update is still, uh, later. I'm gonna test out the PvP. Even though I tested a bit off recording, I'm gonna try to murder some people. Oh yeah, I love this. Isn't it isn't like the last PvP update where you seriously had to like get used to it. This is just like balanced. Did they nerf the mule? That is the true question. That that like makes it so people don't really jump in combat, which was pretty needed. Did you see that gun damage fall off? He got farther away and it went down one damage. That's a uh, a damage fall off. Did they nerf the mule? That's the true question. Yeah, let's go to a bank and try to... Oh yeah, that guy got owned. There's no quick switching now, so they can't sweat on me. I need to go to a bank and get the mule out to see if it got nerfed. Oh, I'm guessing that it was ignored. Please say it was nerfed. All right, I'm just gonna kill you then. Oh my God, it's still overpowered. Okay, they didn't nerf the mule, too bad. Whoa, okay, that's a lot of money. Uh, I kinda really wish that it was a little cheaper. I kinda wish that it was just, you were just bidding with your single server instead of the whole game. 
let's test out this uh, new uh, tomahawk change. So if I throw this tomahawk and I just leave, oh my God, it does show up. Cool. I kind of really want the, the Patterson 6 and the Spitfire and the Schwartz slows. These ones are just really ugly. I bet you they're good though. Unlawful humans. Yikes. 54 damage. Fantastic. There's a nine new guns. Nine of them. That's crazy. Alright, uh, see ya. Hope you enjoyed watching the video and bye.